Okay, so the goal today is to build a portfolio. So I'm going to try to build a portfolio using the Adobe portfolio program from the Creative Suite and uh, see if I can add my different projects to it. So I share my screen. And as you can see, I'm uh, in Creative Cloud. I'm on the All Apps page and on the web section and around the middle of the page, you can see portfolio. So I'm going to launch that. And so first it asks me, do I want to create a collection of work or just a welcome page? I actually want to create a collection of work. And it gives me some choices of some different design templates. So let's see, I'm going to go with this one right here. And uh, it's giving me a preview of the template. So I can see, you know, here's what, what it'll look like on a desktop. Here's what it'll look like on a tablet. Here's what it'll look like on a phone. And fine, I'm going to use this theme. Now you can see that the um, that this uh, has different what they call containers. So the, there's a navigation container, uh, and you can um, click manage pages, and you can add other pages. You can delete the default pages. I'm going to leave that for right now. Just click over here to come back to it. So it's made a little home page for me. Hi, I'm David Hornbuckle. Scroll down, see my work. Fine. So um, let's add a page. And I haven't used Lightroom, so I'm not doing anything with that. I'm just going to add a page into the collection grid. And I'm going to call it about. So it creates the page. And you can see, again, you've got the underneath the this container, you've got this container. Go back to the navigation. And then you have a container here for the page header. Um, and then you can add stuff down here, start where it says start building your page. So what I want to do is I want to go over to Spark. And I'm going to find my About Me video that I made and go to the Publish Settings. And what I think I want to do with this is I want to try to embed the video in the web page. So I'm going to click Embed, it gives me this link. Close that back to the main Spark page. And then I'm going to click Embed over here. And you'll see that little box opens up over here where I can paste the embed code, save it. And now it's, it's embedded this video on the page. OK, so the About Me page is done. So I'm going to go back to my main work page just by clicking on it. And it says my page doesn't have a cover yet. So what do I want to do about a cover? Let me think about that for a minute. OK, so I decided to uh, go to Facebook and download this picture of my cats that I'm going to use as my cover. So click Upload Cover, Upload an Image, go to my folder where I saved that photo, and so for today's date, there it is. So this is my regular photo. Move it around. Can't make it any smaller than that. Let's do this cat. And then on the rollover, do the same photo. I'll have it scroll over to the to the other cat when you roll over. Preview what that looks like. Cover for the About Me page. Click it. It's a little weird. I might play with that and do something a little different with it later, but good enough for now. Okay, so going back to the main work page, I'm gonna create something else. Okay, so I'm going to add another page. And this one I'm just going to call syllabi, where I'm going to put all of my different syllabi that I create for my different classes. Create the page. Now, what I found a little earlier playing around with this was that uh, embedding a web page doesn't work as well as embedding a video. I got an error every time I tried to do that. So instead of embedding the page, Instead of embedding the page, I'm going to create a button that will link to the page. So I go to my syllabus project, and I'm just going to copy this link, go back over here to portfolio, and add a button. This button, I'm going to put EH212 syllabus, and then paste in the URL. Can 
you can mess around with all the fonts and things. It's fine, just saves it, right? So there's my button for that syllabus, and I could add another button for other syllabi for my other classes if I want to. Going back up here to the work page. So now I've got two pages. You'd have a cover for my syllabi page. And I say, not now. Just let that be as it is. Now I want to add a page uh, for assignments. Create the page. And again, I'm going to do a button. So I'm going to click that. I'll go over to Spark, find my dynamic literary analysis assignment. And publish settings, get my URL, copy it here, change the name of the button to dynamic. Okay, and there's my button. Okay, so notice it automatically puts a you may also like thing, um, which is fine. You can, you can change all of this stuff. Okay. So again, it's telling me I don't have a cover for my assignments photo. That's fine. One thing I want to do, though, is I want to move about me uh, over to the left. I want that to be the first one that people see. So how am I going to do that? Can I just drag it? No. So what can I do? Go to my pages and see under work, I can just move, move this around, right? So actually, I want about me to be first. Then I want syllabi to be second and assignments last. So now I've got about me, syllabi, and assignments. Okay, so you know you can do a lot more with this to make it prettier. I'm going to play around with it later. But for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and publish the site. It gives me the URL, and you can see all my stuff. I go to the about me page, scroll to see syllabi, scroll over to see assignments, and I can add covers to those things later.